Hello and welcome back to another pickups video. So I'm actually using the microphone on the Logitech webcam this time around because there's just far too many audio sync issues when using a separate device to capture the words coming out of my mouth. So hopefully the light isn't too bad. I've got the curtains drawn and it is kind of getting towards winter time with the increasing darkness out there. So I've actually fitted a new bulb and uh, it's slightly brighter so hopefully it will suffice. Interesting enough, it's a Mega Man bulb and uh, I would highly rate these. I consider these to be the Rolls Royce of bayonet fitting bulbs and uh, I've bought a bulk load of these so I'm pretty much sorted for life because touch wood they last for ages. Let's look at the specs on the back here. 15,000 hours. I don't even know if I've got that long left on earth. But uh, either way, great purchase that. Nothing to do with the, the rest of the lineup here. So, I've got three Super Famicom games, and I've got three, no. I've got three Super Famicom games, and I've got two Sega Dreamcast games. And these have been bought over the last two and a half, three months. I think the last time I made a pickups video regarding eBay related stuff was probably at the very back end of July when I came back from my holiday. So there's nothing mega exciting, but as always, I thought I'd share it with you. So first up is a game that I've made a gameplay about, quite common for me, and it's Exhaust Heat 2. Now, obviously, this is the sequel to Exhaust Heat, which was an official Formula One World Championship game and so is this but it slightly takes a bit of a deviation because it's not just about F1 cars now there's three different classes of car and uh, it's in a similar way to the original it's all about getting the upgrades and then it becomes a lot easier to win the races and you sort of just you know build your car up and uh, there's a great deal of fun to be had with that I've already put quite a few hours into this and it's strangely addictive it's one of those games where there's, there's no sound during the gameplay it's just 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 the sound of the engine but it sort of puts you into sort of a, a tram fixed state and uh, the hours just melt away and obviously as you're upgrading your vehicle you start to win the races you start to complete them and you get up to like the next class eventually going towards the f1 cars which i've not got to yet but certainly for the price think this was about £10 delivered and it's been on eBay for ages I kind of felt sorry for it to be fair probably had one too many drinks and thought you know what I'm sick of watching YouTube videos on this deciding whether it's for me or not I'm just gonna buy it and I have to say no regrets whatsoever this is a brilliant racing game on the Super Famicom if you're bored of F-Zero, Mario Kart and all the rest of it I'd highly recommend checking this out so next game I've wanted this for ages I don't know why I didn't pick it up uh, this one come up on eBay, it was buy it now or best offer, I think the buy it now was £20, I sent them a best offer, best offer for £14, they accepted straight away and I probably should have offered them slightly less because the manual on the cartridge are a little bit dog-eared but all the same it's fantastic to have the Super Mario collection once again, I used to have the European version but uh, just such a great compilation, the original three Mario games as we know them here in Europe and also in America, but also Super Mario Bros. 2, the Lost Levels, the game that the Japanese, or rather the Americans, decided that wouldn't really be suitable for Western audiences, and it's a complete, to be fair, but uh, personally my favourite Mario game, strangely, is uh, Super Mario Bros. 2, USA as they call it, on this compilation, which isn't really a Mario Bros. game at all, but uh, that's a totally different conversation. But yeah, pleased to get that, and I think if you've got a Super Famicom, you, most of the Mario games are essential if, if you're going for sort of a, the player's collection, I guess. And uh, even though I've got these games on the NES, minus the uh, Lost Levels, it's still great to be able to play them on Super Famicom. So last but not least for the Super Famicom, and this again was a game that I probably bought after having a few too many beers. It was eight, no, it was one of these auctions where it was sort of a starting price, which I think was £8, or best offer. 
and I think the postage was something like £1.50. I've got a bit of affiliation with this game actually because I used to play it a lot on the Mega Drive and uh, I sent them a cheeky offer for over for a ten, I think, and they never accept. Didn't even look at what price it kind of goes for, and they accepted straight away. And it's WF, or WWF, as I know it's Royal Rumble. It's a wrestling game. And uh, this was so good back in the day. I've yet to properly play this on the Super Famicom. It's got a slightly different cast of characters to the Mega Drive version, but we all love WrestleFest. Everyone, you know, Back in the 90s, if you went to an arcade and you played WWF WrestleFest, you thought it was one of the best arcade games you ever played. And the original WrestleMania that released on the Super Famicom, or the Super Nintendo, and then later came to the Mega Drive, was a little bit lacklustre. It didn't fit it. It didn't feature the finishing moves or the music, you know, the, the, the introduction, the, sort of the, the ring walk or whatever else. But this game smashed it out of the park. At the time when this was released, this was the closest to WrestleFest we was getting at home. Now, obviously, there was numerous games afterwards, but to me, Royal Rumble was the one I played the most. And I have to say, for the price I've paid, I'm really pleased with this. I just think it's uh, it's incredible. I mean, I've been looking on eBay at the prices of games recently, and it's blown my mind. Magician Lord, three hundred pounds. Right, ten years ago, I bought an AES with four games, including Magician Lord, and a joystick for £250. So that, that's crazy. Another one I looked at, Castlevania on the Mega Drive. I bought my copy for £20 off Ian Wilson, admittedly 10 years ago. People are paying £150 for it now. I remember when 16-bit Brit Adam said to me, is it worth buying Castlevania New Generations for £50? And I said, I think it's a bit overpriced. This is why I work with wood and not in investment portfolios. But either way, Super Famicom games at the minute are still reasonably affordable. And so I've been, certainly been making the most of it, although I think I am at kind of at the end of the road because I've got most of the, you know, the games that, are, are, that don't cost an absolute fortune. So the last two games here are for the Dreamcast, and the first one is a real cheapy. I think I won this for about £4.50 and a pound postage or something like that. It was around about £5.80 or something similar and it's Silent Scope. I've already made a video about this. Absolutely adore the arcade machine even though I didn't play it much. Just seeing the actual machine with the scope, the size of it, it, it certainly was an experience even then. And I, I love this on the Dreamcast. I had way more fun with this than I was expecting. I'm a bit of a sucker for American Dreamcast games. If there's a, if there's a reasonably priced American Dreamcast game that comes up, I'll, I'll probably buy it. And uh, Silent Scope is certainly one of those. And I, I would recommend this if you're a fan of the arcade game or you're just a fan of sort of sniper games in general. This is a lot of fun. It's certainly one of those games you probably stick on for 10 minutes and uh, leave a big smile on your face. And last but certainly not least, now I bought the peripheral for this game and the original of this game in the last pickups video. And uh, this came up on eBay. I think it was £20 buy it now or best offer. I offered them 15 They come back with 17 I accepted. The rest is history. And it's kind of a, a bittersweet tale for me because, I mean, I, it could be a couple of years ago. But a couple of years ago, I could have bought this game, Real Fishing, which is quite a, quite a difficult game to get hold of for the Dreamcast. Both American versions and a couple of other games were about 37 quid, And I... I yeah, I was bidding on it and it got too much and I thought, now nah, I'll pull out, I didn't bother. I kind of wish I did now, but it doesn't matter because I've got the best of the two games and that is uh, Get Bass 2, Sega Bass Fishing, the sequel to the original. And although I've not played this yet, this is what Sega Bass Fishing Duel on the PS2 was based upon. And I played that game for hundreds of hours. Me and my friend who used to do fencing together, used to come back from work every day. And uh, we'd just sit there for hours playing that in split screen. And we thought it was brilliant. So really looking forward to playing this. Like I say, I kind of wish I'd got the real fishing as well years ago. Because then I would have had every single fishing game as far as I'm aware. For the Dreamcast as well as the peripheral. But it matters not. Just uh, a great game to get in the collection. And because of the way things are going with this pandemic and everything else. At the minute, that there are some bargains to be had. I mean, £17 for this game delivered is a bit of a steal. 
as uh, X-File 2708 would say, it was a bit of a billy bargain. So yeah, really pleased to get that. And uh, I've got to get that steer uh, steering wheel, I've got to get that fishing rod peripheral out and get using it. I've uh, got tomorrow off work, so maybe, maybe, because I've heard it's going to be a real bad day. Maybe tomorrow's the day. You'll know, you'll see the video. So that's pretty much it, just five games I guess that I've bought over the last two months or so and uh, really pleased with all of them. So that's it for now. I thank you for watching and hopefully I'll upload some more videos soon. Take care out there.